Hi everyone, so I'm here today with a tag video because I haven't done one of these in a while and this tag was created by the lovely Lily from Lily Pebbles and she does really fantastic videos. I'll link her channel down below if you haven't already seen her but go and have a look at her channel because she's great. And these are just a bunch of kind of really cute, fun questions and it's a tag that's a little bit different so I wanted to do it. So I'm gonna jump right into it. I've got the questions right in front of me now. And the first question is if you had to get rid of all your fans and you could only keep one high-end and one drugstore, which do you keep? This is a very hard question. Um, in terms of high-end, I know exactly what foundation I would keep, and that would have to be my NARS Sheer Glow. I love this, my favourite foundation. It's just absolutely beautiful, and I'm always saying that I'm going to buy myself one in a slightly lighter shade, and I never do, but beautiful, beautiful, beautiful amazingness, and I would definitely not be able to be without this. In terms of drugstore, that's a little bit harder because I've got quite a few that I do like, but it changes. At the moment, my answer to this question is the Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum. At the moment. This may change. I'm not 100% sold on if I'm never going to find another drugstore one that I kind of like. Like today, for example, I'm wearing the L'Oreal um, Lumi Magique, which I really like, but I think at the moment it would be this. Question number two. You go for an interview and the lady interviewing you has lipstick on her teeth. Do you approach the subject or ignore it completely? This is a really hard one. Um, I think I would have to say something, but I can understand that it, it oh, it's really hard. I know someone who has got a mole on their face and they always have a hair that grows out of this mole and it's really really obvious and I always sort of think like don't you have a good friend who loves you who could tell you because it's kind of a big deal and I just would hate for someone to be embarrassed so I think I'd probably just sort of say something like hun you've got a little bit of lipstick just on your teeth <laughs> something like that maybe I don't know, I think I would have to say I, I, I'd feel really bad if they were embarrassed and then didn't know about it. Then, um, you're not feeling yourself and need to pick me up. Which lipstick do you put on to make yourself feel beautiful? My kind of all time probably favourite lipstick, this is so hard to pick, it's like picking a favourite child lipstick would have to be my MAC Viva Glam Cindy lipstick because it's just one of those lipsticks that looks good all the time. You can kind of wear it in the daytime, you can wear it in the evening. I've not got very much left of it which makes me very sad but it's just this kind of lovely coral shade and it really suits my complexion and I always feel like I look good when I'm wearing that colour. Then question number four, um, you go back in time for a day to your teenage years, how would you do your makeup and hair differently? Okay, so hair was an absolute disaster. First of all, I was blonde, which was not a good look on me. Then I used to kind of wear it half straight, half curly, so the top part would be straight and then the bottoms would be curly and it was just not a good look. Um, in terms of makeup, I don't think I was ever too bad. I did go through a phase of wearing kind of like a body shop brown lipstick that I thought looked really good. And I'd wear kind of like coloured eyeshadows and that type of thing. But I definitely think my makeup skills have improved hugely at this point. But I think um, in terms of like skin and that kind of thing, I didn't wear foundation. I just have a little bit of concealer, a little bit of bronzer. I kind of could do it okay. I did used to really over pluck my brows, that would be something I would tell myself to not do because that's really a bad idea. Um, question number five, you ask your hairdresser for a shoulder pixie, length, pixie lot haircut but they hear you on and give you a pixie cut. Do you A, smile, say thank you, leave and call your mum hysterical, B, cry in the chair and things get awkward or C, complain to the manager and demand a refund? Um, first of all, I can't ever see how that could happen because like are you sitting there with your eyes closed? Can you not see what they're doing? Like, I can't see how they could cut that much for it to be that type of cut and I wouldn't notice. So uh, that's a kind of difficult question to answer. But I would make it clear that I wasn't happy with it. There's nothing they can do about it, you know. Um, they're not gonna make your hair grow back, but I'd kind of go home and try and see if I could salvage it and style it a little bit. But I would be very, 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 very upset because hair is a big deal. Then question number six, your friend surprises you with a four day city break and you have one hour to pack. What do it all palette do you pack in your makeup bag? Um, I don't have any friends who are that kind, but I think that I would have to go with the Urban Decay Naked Basics palette. 
everything you need, compact, great for traveling, and just a fantastic all-round palette. Then, oh, my eye, what's happened? Okay, um, oh, I've lost the questions, hang on. Okay, here we are. Your house has been robbed, don't worry everyone's safe, but your beauty stash has been raided. What product do you really, what product do you really hope is safe? This is really hilarious. Um, I think I would have to say, I've got everything kind of balancing here on, okay. I think I would have to say my Clarisonic because I wouldn't be able to do without my Clarisonic. I would miss it dearly, dearly, dearly if anything happened to it. And I yeah, would really hope that it was safe because I love it. But obviously there's tons of other things and I would be really, really angry if a thief came in and stole my makeup. Then, your friend borrows your makeup and returns it in awful condition. Do you A, just pretend you haven't noticed, B, ask them to repurchase it, or C, secretly do the same to something of theirs? I wouldn't do C because that's kind of childish, but I'm, <laughs> I wouldn't really lend a friend makeup um, if it was something that I really liked. I wouldn't lend them it because it is something that can get ruined and then I'd hate to have that kind of awkward situation of it being ruined. So what I would probably, I, I give a lot of makeup away, like I, I give my sisters a lot and I give a lot of my friends makeup and things like that, so I do give a lot of things away and if they needed something in particular I would probably just give it to them rather than expect them to give it me back because I'd be paranoid that something would happen to it and then things would get awkward. But that is the last question. So that was the beauty scenario <clears throat> tag. I hope you enjoyed this. Don't um, hesitate to answer any of the questions below that you feel like um, answering. Or if you want to do the tag even just in the comments, do that. Or if you want to leave, I don't think you can leave a video response anymore, can you? Link to your video um, that you've done with this tag. That would be fantastic. I will tag a couple of people down below. And I hope you all have a great day. And I'll see you next time.